Hey guys, I wanted to create a little video on your cells, okay, because it can be very complicated. I'm going to try to simplify it, all right? Okay, so there's various parts of the cell. It's like a universe. There's all sorts of things happening. You have the center part, which is called the nucleus, okay? And in the nucleus, you have what's called DNA. So the DNA is basically going to give the program to tell what the rest of the cell should do as far as what body tissue to make and what actions to perform. Then we have what's called the RNA. Now there's three different kinds, but just to simplify it, you can look at the RNA as a copy of the DNA. You have a copy machine in your cells. So it makes a copy of the code and then it pastes it into certain uh, transport units that send it out through the rest of the cell. So just like a computer programmer that would write his certain code and then maybe cut and paste it into a different thing to make a website, your body has the RNA to do that as well. Now, what's even more amazing is the DNA and the RNA could have over 10,000 errors every single day, from things like radiation to chemicals to things that oxidize the cell, free radical damage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we have an entire repair unit in the cell, okay, that can go in there like a like a proofreader, read the code, translate the code, and look for errors. Then what it will do, it will cut out the section of errors, cut it out, replace it with new one, or fuse it together. And then there's another proofreader unit that comes behind the initial proofreader to make sure they didn't make any errors, to look and read the code to make sure it's exact. And they also have the capacity to cut out the bad code, put in the new code, and replace it to the point where you can reduce the errors to one in a billion. This is incredible because if these errors are there, you have these mutations, which are alterations in the code, and that can lead to cancer and a lot of other diseases. Okay. Next thing we're talking about is the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the energy factory of the cell. It takes your food, mixes oxygen, and it produces energy. And in the body, the energy is called ATP. It's kind of like an energy currency. And then you have something called the endoplasmic reticulum, which is the part of the cell that either makes protein if it's the rough part or makes lipids or steroids if it's the smooth part because a lot of your body tissue is composed of fat and protein hair nails brain nerve etc so this is one part of the assembly line in the um, manufacturing of body tissue and then we have these little things called ribosomes which are basically protein making machines on steroids so they actually help in making different protein structures, not just for body parts, but for body chemicals like hormones and neurotransmitters, um, blood cells, you name it. Then we have something called the Golgi apparatus. Okay. The Golgi apparatus is similar to the post office, or you probably order things from Amazon. Well, they have a whole shipping department where they package the um, item that you bought and then they put a scanning code on it. They tag it. Well, that's what this unit does. The Golgi apparatus packages and tags protein and fat to then be shipped out to the other parts. Then we have something called the lysosome, which is basically the digestive stomach. It's the garbage disposal. It helps break down waste and it also breaks down damaged parts to be recycled. Okay, so there's another term called autophagy where you would be going on a long fast with doing intermittent fasting and you would cause the lysosome to start recycling the damaged proteins that are unusable, maybe from the repair pathways, and also microbes to then recycle those into new particles so you're, we can reuse that. So it's very, very efficient. That's what the lysosome does. And then we have something called the peroxisome, which is a slightly different, it's similar, but this cell makes enzymes to get rid of something called peroxides, okay? So if you were to use hydrogen peroxide, for example, to clean a wound, you can see that it fizzes up because it kills all the microbes. It kind of disinfects it. Well, your white blood cells also make hydrogen peroxide to kill viruses and bacteria. Well, we don't want to let that lingering around. So this little guy here cleans all that stuff up. So our bodies actually make oxidants or free radicals to kill things. And you can also have it coming from the outside as well. And that's why you can consume antioxidants and also your body makes antioxidants as well to balance this whole thing out. And lastly, we're going to talk about the membrane. The membrane is like a double layer of fat that surrounds the cell. And when you take vitamins, you have two types. You have water soluble and you have fat soluble. 
the fat soluble vitamins are different in that they can cross this fat layer and go to the nucleus and create effects. All right, so there you have it. That's the simplicity of a cell. Thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I want to actually hear about your success story. I want to see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.